Okay, so I'm going to prepare my painting in Photoshop. I'm going to copy the copy my painting as many times as I as I think I need different elements. Uh, my plan is to make the make the guy snore and and the the blanket is going to go up and down and and the crucifix is going to fall on the on the floor in the end so i'm going to create identical layers renaming them so i know which one is which okay i'm going to switch off all the other layers except this michael layer that i'm going to start working first I'm going to pick the magnetic lasso tool and going to cut off your man press enter to finalize the selection I can go closer by zooming in and taking the normal lasso tool pressing shift adding areas that the adding areas that the magnetic lasso didn't select for me pressing alt I can get rid of the areas as well I'm also going to see that there's a little bit more underneath the blanket than, than there really is in the painting. Then I'm going to go to select inverse, that selects everything else, and press delete to get rid of the background. So now I have my Michael layer. I copy the Michael layer as well, and because I want the head to be separate. Again, hide the body layer and just gonna work on the head layer for the moment gonna add to the selection so now I have only the head and just make sure you have the head, head layer selected when I press delete get rid of that body go to the body and inverse the selection select inverse delete to get rid of the head so now we have head and bodies separate next i'm going to work on the flag layer so i'm going to only make that visible select the magnetic lasso tool again don't know exactly where in the painting the the flag ends, but I'll, I'll just roughly, roughly select. And then once again, select inverse and press delete. Now we have the, the flag only. Then we need, need to get the crucifixion. So select crucifix layer, magnetic lasso again. Not very well, we have to take the lasso tool and just do it by hand pretty much. Like that. And now select inverse, press delete. Just make sure you have the right layer on and now we have the crucifix the next next up I need to say in this flag layer get rid of the rid of the crucifix so the way we we did this in class was the clone stamp tool and just using what we have here in the painting duplicate areas we can we can change the size of the the clone stamp brush and the opacity so the way the clone stamp tool works is you hold alt press on an area and then where you next click it will clone that area just trying to look for those places that would suit suit this area 
I'm looking at that, looking for that edge of green and white, and then taking it from there. You probably have to do it a couple of times, taking it from different areas, make it look like it's that it's always been like that, and it's not just not just a, a copied area. So this totally depends on what kind of job you're doing what kind of painting you have selected but this is the this is my recommended approach now it doesn't have to be perfect we need to get rid of some of the head if we want to make the the head move at all or the body so we need to for the background layer i need to copy the pillow as well because i don't know exactly how how much i'm going to be moving Mr. Collins, so I'm gonna now completely make his head and, and body disappear. But I could just go in a bit, uh, go in a bit from the from the edges, and maybe if I could always go back if I if I animated it and saw that it, it wasn't enough, I could always go back to the Photoshop file and and fix a little bit more. I'm gonna get rid of some of the flag as well just in case i i want to move the flag away and i'm going to save this as photoshop file which keeps the layers and as you can see i can now move the crucifix move the the flag slightly up and down and move the head and the body so that's our photoshop file now prepared